Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope you're doing well. When people mention the big time heavy hitter, compliment pulling versatile designer fragrances, probably the first ones you think of are Dior Sauvage and also Bleu de Chanel. These are basically the kings, the top of the mountain, the best sellers. Sometimes you'll even see people say, hey man, don't wear Dior Sauvage. Don't wear Bleu de Chanel. Well, everybody's got those, okay? Come here, closer. Closer. I'm gonna let you in on something, a little secret. What you wanna wear, something less common, like this. Why Eau de Parfum or, or Versace Dylan Blue. These are super unknown, like Soundgarden. I've actually seen multiple times people say, don't buy Dior Sauvage, it's too common. Buy Why Eau de Parfum. Not for nothing, but why is just as common, guys. But what we're doing today is taking a look at 10 designer fragrances that are also super versatile and compliment pulling that can hang with the big dogs, but are not themselves the big dogs. So let's jump into it. Let's check these out. Let's kick it off with Baldi Sereni Signature. This is one of the newest fragrances in my collection. And this one has a similarity to Mont Blanc's Explorer, which also means it's got a bit of a similarity to Creed's Aventus, but it's closer to Explorer between the two. Aki Gala Wood, Pink Pepper, Bergamot Leather, Apple. It's also got Labdanum in there, a bit of Amber. So this one starts off, again, very similar to Explorer. That pink pepper, the bergamot. I mean, the apple gives it a little bit of a different tinge, but it, it's really similar. And the Akigala wood as well that comes in as it dries down. Where this differentiates itself from Explorer a bit is in the dry down. This one with the amber, the labdanum goes a little bit richer, a little bit warmer, whereas Explorer stays fresher. This is the type of scent you can wear year round, daytime, nighttime, office, casually, whatever, doesn't matter. And from there, we're going on to chrome extreme from Azaro. Azaro is one of those houses that if you're always at discount stores, they've got a great deal somewhere to be found because they're just marked off so heavily typically that there's always something there that's much better than the price you're gonna pay. Mandarin sea notes, juniper and cashmere and some of the notes in the scent got a bit of a similarity to Aqua de Jo's Profundo. Really nice citrus marine opening here. Very fresh, lively and brisk. And again, the quality higher than you would expect for the price you're gonna pony up and pay for this one. It's gonna be more of a spring and summertime scent, but like Aqua de Jo Profundo, you can easily pull that off in cooler weather. I know sometimes people think like, oh, an aquatic, I can't wear it in the winter. You can. And a lot of times it actually smells better. Chrome Aqua, for example, in the cold smells great. Now, another of the newer fragrances that I've picked up, Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. Yeah, Urban Hero. The original Urban Hero, not too many people were a fan of, myself included, but this one's a lot better. Pineapple, Tonka, Blood Orange, Sandalwood, and Lavender, some of the notes in the fragrance. The opening, really nice. That pineapple and blood orange off the top, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's attention grabbing, it smells great. The main problem with that is it doesn't last all that long. The opening is here and then it's gone. My wife loves the opening on this one, huge fan and I like it too. As it dries, it does lose a little bit of that originality because the, the Tonka comes out and becomes the dominant force and so many men's fragrances do have a whole ton of Tonka in it. But in terms of versatility and compliment factor, this one is a hit from the opening to the dry down. Now I'd say this next one doesn't fly under the radar as much as the last three that we talked about because this is from a line of fragrances that just about everybody knows. But this particular flanker kind of came out, hit for a second, and then just went whoop right back under the radar. It is Legend Eau de Parfum from Mont Blanc. Now, of course, you could just go with Mont Blanc Legend, the Eau de Toilette, the original that is gonna be cheaper. And that one and this one both have a similarity to Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. So essentially you're getting Fierce with a twist here. Woods, Violet Leaf, Bergamot, Oak Moss, and Leather, some of the notes in the fragrance, takes that Legend Eau de Toilette DNA and gives it a, a little touch of maturity. Not quite as fresh, not quite as sweet, a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit manlier, you could say. Oh, yeah, it's very, very manly. Mm. Legend Eau de Parfum is a fragrance that is great, again, year round. Maybe in summer, you dial it back a little bit, but in winter time, this one works perfectly. Fall as well, and of course, early spring. Next on this hit list, Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Eau de Toilette. 
extreme. Citrus, ice, musk, and woods, some of the notes in this scent. And Narciso Rodriguez, as far as mint fragrances goes, doesn't get a huge amount of love, it seems like. Now, they definitely do have their fanboys. They do have the people that appreciate the house and pick up pretty much every release. But each time a, a new flanker or a new scent comes out from this house, for the most part, people just seem to go, okay. Now this is a blue fragrance with a touch of elegance. It's going to appeal to middle-aged guys and older, but younger guys can pull this off as well. It's a bit like a mix of parts of Blue de Chanel, uh, parts of Cartier Declaration, parts of Terre d'Hermes Eau Très Fraiche, and of course, parts of the Blue Noir line. I also love the bottle on this, that kind of frozen matte look. I think it looks really classy. It's a line that I love from a house that I love that doesn't really get talked about that much. Blue Noir Eau de Toilette Extreme, this stuff shines in the spring, summer, and fall. And then from Ferragamo, Intense Leather. I'm a big fan of the Ferragamo Womo line. I know a lot of you are, and, and frankly, I'm a bigger fan of the Ferragamo Womo line than I am the new stuff that they're putting out. But if we're just talking versatility, compliment factor, this one is a nice choice. Mandarin, apple, iris, and leather. Some of the notes in the fragrance. Do I wish maybe the iris was in here a little bit more? Yeah, but I'll take what I can get. So you have that fruity sweetness off the top, mix of citrus and red apple. Smells very nice. And as it heads through the mid, that's when you get to pick up a little bit more of that iris. The leather here, a little more of a creamy leather with hints of earthiness, kind of an earthy undertone. Maybe it doesn't sound great when I say it like that, but trust me, it smells much better than that might sound. And from there, we move on to Lalique Linsumi. This is a fragrance that never really seemed to, to take hold. You know, people never really seem to go for it all that much. I think the bottle looks great. It's very nice looking classy. This, this sort of uh, pattern on the side of the bottle really sets it off. You have the Lalique logo on top of the cap. The bottle is heavy. The atomizer is fantastic. Check this out. Assuming it actually comes through on camera. It's a pressurized atomizer, not all that far removed from Christian Dior. Basil, rum, woods, clary, sage, and lavender, some of the notes in this scent. This is very cheap at discounters nowadays. I think it runs around $30, and you may be able to pick it up for even less than that. So with this one, you get basically boozy aromatics. It smells really nice. It's going to appeal more to people middle-aged and older. You've got woods and the dry down, sweet masculine scent, but done in more of a, a classy style. That's what this is, criminally overlooked. But if you're middle-aged or older and you're looking for something that does have an aromatic feel with a good amount of boozy sweetness running throughout, check that out. Now just an easy to wear citrus scent for spring and summer, Pepe Jeans Cocktail. For a while, this was hard to find. I think the only place that had it was La Belle Perfumes. And when I ordered from there, I had this big headache even getting the thing. So <laughs> kind of put me off from the website for a bit. But uh, now you can find it at more discounters. It's more readily available. Doesn't cost that much, under $30. And this one is straight up citrus, a bit of fresh spice and woods. So the citrus you're gonna get is yuzu and grapefruit. It smells awesome off the top and it doesn't smell as cheap as you would expect it to being an under $30 fragrance from a house like Pepe Jeans. Of course, the ginger in the opening helps the liveliness of the citrus. It gives it this sparkle, this effervescence that you find sometimes in citrus forward fragrances that really helps them pop, helps them shine little tiny touch of green cardamom, and then just woods in the base, very simple. For the price, this stuff is really well done. You can spray this over and over and over and over and over again, and nobody's gonna be offended. Then we got kind of a cheesy one here, but the fragrance works. It's Davidoff Cool Water Aquaman. Now they also have a Street Fighter limited edition. So if you like Street Fighter more than Aquaman, you can get that one. It's the same fragrance, just the bottle is slightly different. If you don't care about Street Fighter and you don't care about Aquaman, just get whichever one's cheaper. So with this one, you're getting Mandarin, Black Pepper, and Gaiac Wood. Not a whole lot, pretty simple. Citrus, bits of spice, tiny hint of a smoky wood as it dries. Really fresh and clean, especially through the opening in the mid. Easy to wear in spring or summer. You could wear it during the fall as well. And I get decent performance with it. So for the cost here, there's a lot to like. It's a great kind of dumb reach, grab spray and go type of scent that everybody's gonna like. And we have made it to the end, Halloween Man Hero. Really like the gradient on this one, yellow into red into blue, looks nice. C notes, cashmere and grapefruit, lemon and ginger, some of the notes in the fragrance. So once again, 
citrus, grapefruit, lemon, ginger, all melding together in the opening gives you that, that sparkle, that pop. Here, the citrus comes across almost a little bit candy. So you're getting more sweet here with the citrus than in maybe some of the other ones. A lot of these fragrances that use mandarin orange in the opening, they're not going to have quite as much of that, that sweetness. Instead, they have this slight kind of green edge to it. So with Halloween Man Hero, you're getting that kind of candied, sweet citrus mixing together with fresh aquatic notes. And as it dries down, kind of a, a fuzzy cashmere and, you know, that modern woodsy bass that you smelled a few dozen times. Still, though, well done, very pleasing, very easy to wear. And with that, we wrap up 10 versatile compliment pulling fragrances that can work just as well as the big boys, but are not as common and oftentimes are a heck of a lot cheaper. Because when it comes to the Dior Sauvages, the Blue de Chanel's and the Wyota Parfums, those things are not typically discounted much at all, if any. As compared to some of these other ones that you can get at discounters for $50, $40, even 30. And some of them less than that. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.